Yo, Rod here, Futures 8-Bit. I've got a BBC Micro out at the moment. I just thought I'd record this as some useful information to BBC Micro noobs um, or even people that forget things because it's been a long time since you've used it. Now, this particular BBC Micro I have here is absolutely full of ROM chips, as you can see on the left. Um, so this actually, out of the box, has a bit of a conflict with the SD to BBC, uh, which isn't, you know, a, a big deal you normally remove the rom chip that was in question but if you don't know what's going on with your machine and like i say if you're a bbc noob don't go in ripping out rom chips number one just do star roms and then you can just go through with the space bar disabling everything you are pretty sure you're not, not going to need you know and then all you have to do is press escape that's happened um so now when i do star card star oops menu I get the menu that I was expecting because it's now running from the correct ROMs, right, correct subsystem. Um, also, um, there's also the star help command, which gives you a few more words on what ROMs are installed. And obviously from that, you can get yourself onto star dot and quickly look up, you know, what the hell you happen to have in your machine. I, I like to leave them in there, even though we don't use them because I find them fascinating. But that's me. But yeah, any problems with your BBC, especially if it's stuff full of ROM chips, star roms is your friend because that is how you can quick and dirty turn roms off until you've investigated what the hell they do and uh if that's what's actually causing you your problem anyway that's a top tip bye